Good morning everyone. Today we will start and continue the chapter 6 of Behive of Standard 9th. This is Mr. Shivi Podar. Welcome you on my channel English with Shivi. Today we will start from the 5th paragraph of Behive book chapter 6. As you are knowing that my childhood is the story of APJ Abdul Kalam. It was an autobiography. Also it was an extract from the book Fire of Wings. So we will start from the fifth stanza. During the annual Shri Sita Ram Kalyanam ceremony, our family used to arrange boats with a special platform for carrying idols of the Lord from the temple of the marriage site, situated in the middle of the pond called Ram Tirth, which was near our house. And events from the Ramayana and from the life of the prophet were the bedtime stories. My mother and my grandmother would tell the children in our family. So he is saying that during the summer, Shri Sita Ram Kalyanam ceremony. Sita Ram means Lord and Goddess and God, Lord Krishna and Goddess Sita. Kalyanam means marriage. In South Indian language, marriage is called Kalyanam. So the occasion was there to celebrate the marriage ceremony of Lord Ram and Goddess Sita and there was a responsibility of each and every man of Rameshwaram. So as usually the family of Abdul Kalams was also there to arrange the boats for carrying the idols of God and Goddesses and it was the platform to have the idols to give or to afford the idols to put the idols to the marriage site. The marriage site was situated in the middle of the pond which was near their house and it was called the Ram Tirth. And it was not surprising for them, or for us also, ki, that he was the Hindu boy, sorry, he was the Muslim boy and even he was entering and interfering in the work of Hindus but he was habituated to know each and everything by his mother and the grandmother when they were the youngs and the in the childhood they were there to use all the stories which were told by grandmother and by gra and mother of Abdul Kalam. One day when I was in the fifth standard at the Rameshwaram elementary school, a new teacher came to our class. I used to wear a cap which marked me as a Muslim and I always sat in the front row next to Raman Ramananda Shastri who wore the sacred thread. Now here is the description in the class when he was child and he was saying that he was in the fifth standard of Rameshwaram elementary school. This is the name of the school and the new teacher came there. Means once he was sitting in the classroom of standard 5 in Rameshwaram elementary school, one teacher was there who was new. Ram Abdul Kalam was used to bear the cap which is belonged to Muslim's family. So this is the mark that he was using the cap that he is the Muslim boy and he was sitting near his friend Ramananda Shastri who was wearing the pious thread means Janeu. He was wearing the Janeu and he was giving his identification that he is the Brahmin uh, boy and he is belonging the Brahmin family and but I was wearing the cap it was showing that I am from the Muslim family. The new teacher, teacher couldn't stomach a Hindu priest son sitting with a Muslim boy in accordance with our social ranking as the new teacher saw it. I was asked to go and sit on the back bench. I felt very bad and so did Ramananda Shastri. When the new teacher entered in our classroom, he was having stomach, means couldn't stomach, could not tolerate. He was not having the digestion, means he was not tolerating that the Muslim boy and the Hindu boy was sitting together. So he came and he was seeing that Hindu priest was there and his son was, Hindu priest son was there with the Muslim boy. This was not digested by the teacher. So in this 
meanwhile the class with social distancing with social ranking the teacher saw it he was there to see that these two students were sitting together one was belonging to muslim family and another was priest son so it was not tolerating by him so he was asked means the teacher told to abdul kalam that you should not go sit with him go at the back side of the classroom but as the teacher said this he was feeling bad because he was too much a small child he was of standard fifth student but he was feeling sad and he didn't say nothing but ramanand shastri also did like that means he also went there to sit with abdul kalam he looked utterly downcast as i shifted to my seat in the last row the image of him beeping when i shifted to the last row left a lasting impression on me when i shifted the bench from the first up to the last he was saying to bend the head and he was guilty he was feeling guilty and he was saying that why didn't you change the why did you change the seat and he was saying his face his features were looking that he will start weeping so this feature of my friend's face was forever reminded in my mind means up to now the impression the expression the feeling of my friend was imprinted on my heart and mind after school we went home and told our respective parents about the incident lakshmana shastri summoned the teacher and in our presence told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality and communal intolerance in the minds of innocent children after the school each and everything was told to their parents which was happened in the classroom so after getting the news after getting the incident the parents were shocked and lakshmana shastri called the teacher summoned summoned means call the teacher and in their presence in the presence of students abdul kalam and ramanand shastri so the teacher was called and told the teacher that he should not spread they warn the teacher that he should not do this type of activities which shows that he is showing the social inequality and giving the poison to the minds of the young ones so it will be the communal intolerance in the minds of innocent children means the children are innocent and they are not knowing that what are the religions and what are the customs and rituals among them so it should be the intolerance it should be the unavoidable thing which will be which are giving by you to the students so they want the teacher he bluntly asked the teacher to either apologize or quit the school for the island not only did the teacher regret his behavior but the strong sense of conviction lakshmana shastri conveyed ultimately reform his this young teacher so he bluntly asked who asked lakshmana shastri bluntly sharply means without any hesitation is speaking in a direct and honest way even in this obsessed and offense people so he asked directly without any hesitation and directly that he is either he should apologize either he should ask sorry or he should leave the island means if he is not there to ask sorry for the student for his guilty so uh, then he has to leave the place but the teacher was regretted too much he was also aware about the freedom of the minds of these people so he, not only he was regret on his behavior not only he was convinced with his behavior but the strong sense of conviction means conviction a strong opinion the strong opinion was increased in his mind and lakshmana shastri conveyed conveyed said ultimately reform this young teacher means he was satisfied with this ultimate young current reformer teacher and he praised him 
on the whole the small society of rameshwaram was very resilient in terms of the segregation of different social groups however my silence teacher shivu subhabrahmanyam ayer through an orthodox brahmin with a very conservative wife was something of a rebel now on the whole now everything was going smooth and he was saying the small society of rameshwaram means the rameshwaram was the small island and the people the society was also too much rigid means strict too much strict they were too much strict about the terms of segregation about the terms of partition means separation of different social groups means if the social groups will be there and they will have the sense of separation about this separation <coughs> the segregation the <coughs> society of rameshwaram will be strict about it so his science teacher siva subramanyam ayer he was also belonging the orthodox the strict brahmin family he was having the conservative wife means too much rude and traditional wife he was there to ask about the food and he was having the conservative means traditional wife who was having and following all the rules of the brahmin family was something of a rebel means he was saying that it shows that he is in the condition of rebellion means if some hind some muslim people will go there then she will have the rebel he did his best to break social barriers so that people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily he used to spend hours with me and would say kalam i want you to develop so that you are on par with the highly educated people of the big cities he did his best to break social barriers means the teacher the science teacher was there who was not using the social inequality but he broke all the barriers all the foundations and the people were who were different varying who were different from the different backgrounds they can mingle easily they can join easily means if there are so many people and they are belonging from another societies another groups another caste so but he was not there to separate them but he was there to mingle them to engage them with each other and he also used so many hours with kalam also and would say kalam means every time he is there to ask something and to convey the messages and once he was saying kalam was saying that he has said to me kalam i want you to develop so that you are on the par with the highly educated people of the big city that i want you so much means he was expecting he was having too much expectations through kalam and he was saying that you are the only person who can develop the city who can develop the people who are on par means at the same level who are on the same level means the people those who are on your situation those who cannot mingle with the another peoples then you have to give the attention to them and they also should be mingled with the highly educated people of the big cities means you also not even here in the normal life living but you will be at that level where the high five personalities will be there in the big cities one day he invited me to his home for a meal his wife was horrified at the idea of a muslim boy being invited to dine in her ritually pure kitchen she refused to serve me in her kitchen so one day he is saying that he invited me means that science teacher shiva burmanyam ayer invited kalam for the meal for the food at his home but his wife was too much horrified and in anger that the muslim boy will come at her home and will have the dine will have the food so he was too much excited but the wife of the teacher was too much horrified and he was not there to 
have this type of sense but the wife of him was thinking the pure purity the reality of the kitchen here ritually pure kitchen means that the influences the appearances which will come in his kitchen means if the muslim people if the muslim wife will come there then his kitchen will not be protected means he, it will not be pious so she was wanting to refuse to serve him in the kitchen means she refused to her husband that kalam should not be dined in the kitchen shiva subramanyam ayer was not perturbed he was not disturbed perturbed upset disturbed means he was knowing the nature of his wife also he was knowing that kalam was the muslim boy so it obviously will happen and occur so he was not upset and disturbed nor he get angry on his wife even he was not having the anger but instead served me with his own hands and sat down beside me to eat his meal but he was also there with him to say to get the meal with kalam his wife watched us from behind the kitchen door i wondered whether she had observed any difference in the way i ate rice drank water or cleaned the floor after the meal when i was leaving the house seva subramanyam ayer invited me to join him for dinner again the next weekend so his wife silently was there to see them from the kitchen window and i was also shocked and wonder surprised that what she is seeing us as she is watching and observing that is there any difference in my behavior or in my attitude that when i was eating the food rice and was drinking the water and also was cleaning the floor after getting the meal when i was leaving the house then again my teacher shivam subramanyam ayer invited me again to come again in dinner for the next weekend observing my hesitation he told me not to get upset saying once you decide to change the system such problems has to be confronted when i visited his house the next week shiva subramanyam ayer's wife took me inside her kitchen and served me food with her own hands means this shows if at first we will have the anger or we will feel the sadness then nobody will be there to improve if we are normal we are doing simple life as we were doing then another person will try to have the change inside them so here also when next time he went there to have the inner dinner for the invitation of shiva mar shiva marnam ayers then he said don't be upset it is the life rule once you will decide to change the system then nobody will be there to have the problems nobody will be there to be confronted in front of you means nobody will be there to face this type of problems so you have to be confronted or you have to be strict about the rules and changes so the writer is saying that when i went to the house of them then ayer's wife also took me inside means herself she was there who was taking me inside her kitchen and she was serving the food to me and also to the teacher by her own hands so then the second world war was over and india's freedom was imminent indians will build their own india declared gandhi ji the whole country was filled with an unprecedented optimism i asked my father for permission to leave rameshwaram and study at the district headquarters in ramanathnapuram so the second world war was over when the war was over and india's freedom was there it was free and it was imminent means about to happen now the happiness was about to done 
so indians will build their own india called gandhi ji now the gandhi ji was there and he declared he announced that now indians are here who will build their own country or whom so the whole country was filled with an unprecedented never done or known before means do the things do the optimism do the faith the hope means such type of hope who was not done and also was not predicted was also not known this type of activities and hope was filled in the hearts of the whole country so i asked my father for permission to leave rameshwaram so he was also there to leave rameshwaram for the serving of india and he was wanting to go for the study at the district headquarters of ramanathampur he was told as if he if thinking aloud abul i know you have to go away to grow does the seagull not fly across the sun alone with without a nest he quoted khalil grah sorry give runs to my hesitated mother now he told me when i got the permission when i asked my father to leave rameshwaram then he was saying he was thinking aloud he was saying loudly that abul i know you have to go to guru he was knowing the nature of abdul kalam and he was saying that you are wanting to go on the top of the country so does the seagull not fly across the sun he is saying he is asking is the seagull there who can fly across the sun so alone and without a nest but yes he is but not with the nest means not with the family and not with the family people so he was saying that she, he is imagining and he is giving the comparison to abul that he is just like a seagull and if he is wanting to touch the sun then he has to go without the parents without the family just like the seagull he also quoted khalil gibrans to my hesitated mother your children are not your children they are the sons and the daughters of life longing for itself they come through you but not from you they may give them your love but not your thoughts for they have their own thoughts all these lines are written for they have their own thoughts this is the excerpt from your children poem which was written by khalil gibran so he was giving the quoted lines of khalil gibran for conveying the message to the mother because he was hesitated he was not strict he was not fully confirmed that i should go from there so my father said that your children are not your children means if you are supposing that abul should not go from there so don't think like that he is not your children he is the children of the country and if they are the sons and the daughters of life longing for itself they are not the children of our life or our lives but they are the children they are the daughter and sisters of the life of india of the lives itself how they can have the desire longing means desire they can have the desire for the freedom they can have the lives for their own desires and they come through you means we are the parents we are there to give the birth to them but they are not for us they are not from us means as we are wanting to do we cannot you may give them your love but not your thoughts you can bring up them you can convey the messages the good thoughts you can give the love but the thinking the positions the freedom we cannot give all the things cannot be given by us to them so they have their own thoughts they have their own ideas so let it be done and fulfilled by themselves so i hope that you are there to understand the whole chapter in a very easy method thanks bye bye have a good day mm-hmm.